Hello, everyone. This is Dr. George Hanshaw. I appreciate you attending our webinar, Psychological Safety. I hope that you found it safety and found specific ways to implement psychological safety in the online environment. And we talked about several things. I wanted to show you them in action uh, here. And the first one is in our Stats 280 class. In week one, we actually created the values affirmation that we spoke about. And we called it discussion one. We actually call it a growth mindset because we added the knowledge about growth mindset in with that as well. So let's take a look at how this creates a psychologically safe learning environment by design. Uh, facilitation is amazing. You do that all the time. And by design, uh, we have right here, right up front, we have somebody, a, a previous student with a statement. And this is encouraging because it basically tells about effort, a little bit about their fear when they entered into uh, this course as well. But it also shows that, hey, you can get through it. So that begins to create that inclusive learning environment that we want to take. And then we jump into, so once we establish that uh, learning abilities and all that is malleable, then we jump into the values affirmation where they reflect and measure their own thoughts, where they strongly agree or disagree. And we have growth mindset questions. We also have a few questions specifically about statistics as well. And we ask them to respond where they share one rating where you agreed with the statement and how it will help you grow and learn. And another statement sharing how they will, or with, one that they disagreed with and how that's going to help them learn and how they can change as well. So that is one way to implement a values affirmation that's really combined with a growth mindset to equal psychological safety right from the beginning. And that's all by design. And then here, this is our English 101 introduction to composition. Uh, notice what's in it for you right away, success tips. And then in week one, we come down Notice we're going to go into the illustrative essay, but we talk about beliefs about writing right there, a writer's workshop. We have, uh, let me scroll up here, live tutoring. So if people need live, ask the prof form, everything's right in front of them. And we also have a values affirmation here as well. Let's dive in, though. We want to talk about this one to be the illustrative essay they're going to make, one of the ways to create an inclusive learning environment is let people make some mistakes. So notice here in this outline, they're going to make an outline, they're going to turn it in. They're going to create a draft from that outline and turn it in. And guess what they receive from that? They receive feedback and then so they can have a better final submission. That's one way to create that learner safety because these are new writers. This is our basic uh, English 101 writing course. So we want them to get feedback and get better along the way. And that's how we do it. Outline, draft, final submission. And each one they get feedback and a score for. And then they also, uh, that helps them to implement into the final uh, essay. And also within the direction for that final essay, they have to write in like an appendix uh, what feedback was valuable to them. So that's one way to do that as well. And if we look here, what makes all that super valuable, whoops, is where they do the values affirmation right up front and really affirm what they bring to the table. So that helps with the inclusion safety. So this sample helps with inclusion safety and learner safety, and we also showed here. So those are three real uh, examples that we use. So I hope this was helpful.